This is the Basius Union Joy 17 in one uh, multifunctional USB Type C hub adapter, or that in the translation is what it's called. I have been using this for a little over six months with my MacBook Pro. I have very mixed feelings about this hub in general. I wanna go ahead and talk about why I think this is a great hub for some people and a horrible hub for other people. Now in full disclosure, Basius sent this out to me for review six and a half months ago. I didn't review it because I didn't want to promote a product that I couldn't really get behind or fully endorse. That said, I have recently been using this hub uh, with my Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. And I think for people that are in the DeX ecosystem, this hub or a hub like this might totally supercharge your Samsung DeX user experience for a couple of reasons. We're gonna get into that today. First though, let's go ahead and talk about the port situation on here. We have three HDMI cables here on the back. This only supports HDMI at 4K 30 Hertz, no uh, 4K 60. That is also, I think, a limitation of Samsung DeX last time I checked. So if you're using this for Samsung DeX, not that big of a deal. If you're using it on a MacBook Pro like I am, a much bigger deal. Next up, we have two USB 2.0 ports here on the back. These USB 2.0 ports are great if you wanna go ahead and use them for things like peripherals. On this one, I use them for both my keyboard and my mouth, mouth, mouse. Lower latency, faster response time, uh, and overall just using Bluetooth less on my computer means I get better performance with headphones and stuff like that in general. That's really nice. On the front of this, we're gonna have three USB 3.0 ports and three USB or and two USB type C 3.0 ports, but no Thunderbolt here. That's another reason why it's kind of lackluster on my MacBook Pro. We also have an RJ45 connection if you wanna go with a wired setup. And we have a DC 12 volt in so that if you have devices that uh, use phantom power that use kind of passive power, such as uh, two and a half inch uh, spinning hard drives or just like a like regular hard drive and not SSD, those require power. And that's what this DC in is for. That said, when I've been using two or three different uh, hard drives plugged into this simultaneously, there is some issues that I have with it drawing too much power over DC and then it taking some power over USB-C, but we'll talk about that in a second. Here on the back, we have USB Type-C power delivery and this only goes up to 99 watts or 100 watts, which on my MacBook Pro hasn't been that much of an issue. If you're using any Samsung Galaxy device, any type of tablet, it won't be an issue at all. Uh, we have one here for the USB power in and we have one for your device in. So that's kind of how you connect it over USB-C. On the front, we also have a headphone jack and an SD card along with a micro SD card. Now, a lot has happened in regards to uh, desktop style NLEs or non-linear editors in the Samsung DeX ecosystem since the last time I made a Samsung DeX video. If you want me to revisit that, let me know. But since then, we now have stuff like LumaFusion, which actually has stuff on it set up for dual screen use, which means that you could really do most of your workflow um, on a Samsung Galaxy tablet with two monitors or on a Samsung Galaxy uh, S24 Ultra and having two monitors. But there's, there's a lot of versatility that we now have. And if you're using a Samsung tablet, being able to use something like LumaFusion with two windows is great. I've covered Samsung DeX workflows before. For me, they didn't work that great, but now with some of these updates, I think that I could totally run my YouTube channel using just LumaFusion. It's really, really powerful. It's well-optimized on Android, and being able to have that 
SD and micro SD card input on the front of this device. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Um, having the SD and micro SD card support on this hub means that you could literally use this hub as your all-in-one platform uh, for shooting photo or video and being able to just plug that I think that Android is just a great operating system on tablets, even though it's not that well developed for, unfortunately. Um, but we have a lot of really powerful Android tablets and having this as an option is great. Now, I have had issues plugging this into my MacBook Pro and a lot of that came down to the HDMI cables. Now, in order to get my MacBook Pro to recognize this as uh, a display hub, I had to use 8K capable HDMI cables. Um, trying to use the HDMI cables I had, it was HDMI 1.2 or 1.3, those didn't work even though those cables are kind of, or even though HDMI 2.1 cables and HDMI 2.0 is a little bit of overkill for this. Um, so it is kind of finicky with the cables that you're plugging into this. Uh, I think that because of that though, because of the ability to have the different uh, IO on this, because of the limitations of Samsung DeX and the limitations of this, this is a perfect companion for people in the Samsung DeX ecosystem. And if you're not familiar with what Samsung DeX is, it's a whole rabbit hole of things. But essentially, if you have a Samsung device, more likely than not, you have a fully fledged desktop user experience with the power and the openness of Android in your palm. And the fact that Samsung is now adding things like pass through charging, battery protection means that you can realistically use any of the new Samsung smartphones as your computer if you only need to do things like browse the internet. Um, we tried to set my wife up with it to replace her laptop. She had mixed experience with it, but overall I think for that for some people that are either on a budget or don't have a need for a dedicated computer, Samsung DeX is a great option because it allows you to really maximize the most of your mobile handset, gives you 5G connectivity, which here in the United States is giving me something like 500 megabits down, like 5G on Google Fi with my Google Pixel is faster than my home internet connection, which is absolutely insane because Google Fi doesn't even utilize millimeter wave. So if you're on Verizon or another carrier, you would have an even faster internet connection. Um, on top of that, being able to have all of your files in one place or hook your device up to a TV means that Samsung DeX is a great option for people that don't necessarily want to invest in a computer. Now, if you're a Samsung Dexpert, as I would call it, share this video with someone that wants to have a Samsung DeX home setup. And if you're not a Dexpert, you might wanna jump into some of my older videos where I talk about and use Samsung DeX. I did an experiment with it before I had uh, a MacBook Pro and I used it as my primary away from the home work computer for a while and it worked flawlessly. I needed it for just simple word processing and stuff like that. Dual screen apps was great. And overall the performance of it for a lot of those tasks is awesome. I'm a hardcore video creator, so I sometimes need a little bit more power than that, but a lot of people could save a ton of money by using their phone and Samsung DeX. And ultimately, I'd like to know what your Samsung DeX user experience has been in the comment section down below. And until next time, it's Mitchell, peace.